Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to It's All About the Mouse. This is the day where we are uh, doing something Disney inspired. I'm combining it with May I Scrap Lift You, which is a scrap list lift uh, series we are doing all month long. Today we are scrap lifting Scrappy Jenny K. And I think everybody could choose their own layouts. Um, some people actually have chosen other people to scrap lift as well. So they're not working from the same list. Uh, Crystal Barrett put together this list. And uh, she is the brainchild behind May I Scrap Lift You. So thank you, Crystal, for putting this together and hosting this series. Um, and it's all about the mouse. This month, uh, we are... Inspired by the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot, it happens in May, and so since this is May 2nd, we're going to go ahead and do something that um, includes some flowers. So I chose this floral paper. It is a really old paper. It's so old, it's one of the thin ones, and it's, I think, from Creative Impressions or something to that effect. And I've had this paper for ages, probably like 15 years and it's just this one sheet it's been sitting with my Disney stuff and it's not even really Disney paper that I know of um, but it makes me think of Minnie Mouse and the little flower that's in her hat in some of the photos and so that's why I decided to use it for this so um, I am using the yellow polka dot opposite it because it's the same uh, color of yellow as the center of those uh, pinkish reddish flowers. And so I thought it was perfect for that. Now I didn't, I measured correctly, but because I inset my paper further than just like the eighth of an inch that I normally do for a border around the outside, um, my measurement was off because I had cut two six by six papers and then, you know, if you bring them together and they're overlapping in the middle, one's going to be bigger than the other. Anyway, so that's why I had to go ahead and adjust that. And then I just pulled in some old black and white polka dot washi because black and white polka dot makes me think of Disney too. So why not? And then I'm going to back my photo with a black uh, border using... Um, these are photo mats from Hobby Lobby. They're six and a half by four and a half and you get a hundred in a pack. And when Paper Studio stuff goes 40% or 50% off or whatever it is, I buy a bunch of them and uh, stock up and I have them in black, white, and cream. And it makes me feel really good about not cutting into a 12 by 12 for that little four and a half by six and a half inch piece of paper. I don't mind throwing away the waste off of it and it doesn't like create a huge leftover pile in my scrap bin. So, um, I highly recommend it. it. I use the mats a lot more because of it. So then I pulled out this paper. Um, I think this is from Echo Park, their magical moments or magic moments or something to that effect. And I thought this yellow castle worked really well because uh, it brings the yellow from the left side over to the right side. And it does match those the same identical color because I think the polka dot papers from that same collection, actually. And then I have this sticker sheet set that has a bunch of Disney stuff in it. And it has these yellow stickers. And I, I really do like dimensional stickers, but um, these just worked out really well and they were there. I'm also creating this layout while a bunch of my stuff is packed to go to a retreat. So I don't have access to every single thing in my scrap room. And you know what? Sometimes it's really nice to work that way because you just use what you have on hand and there aren't so many options and not so many decisions to be made. It came together really quickly. Um, and these alphas worked just fine. And I really actually love the end result of this title so um yeah use what you've got on hand if you don't have it handy just grab what you do <laughs> so my title is going to be smell the flowers and i know it looks like i don't have room for the word the between the two words but i'm going to use some tiny tile letters uh that are in that same booklet of um of stickers and that book of stickers is a Disney uh, inspired book so it has all the colors of whatever collection it is for and I don't have it in front of me or I would tell you the name of it um, so there you go I just put the the on its side 
and I thought that worked out really well. Now I'm trying to decide if I want any of the chipboard stuff off that chipboard sheet that I have. And then I went to my bin of Disney related stuff or Disney inspired stuff and started pulling a few things out to see what I wanted. I have these really old stickers that are kind of see-through, but um, the yellow was the wrong shade of yellow. It was more like a sunny yellow than a buttery yellow. And so it, I, it didn't make the cut. And then this piece that says fun, fun, fun happened to be floating around in my iris case that has all the Disney stuff in it. And I decided to go ahead and use that. And I apologize. I can't tell you what that is from, what collection or anything. Um, because it was, like I said, just floating around in my bin. So I thought I would use that my oh my, but I don't end up using it. Some of these are from Echo Park. Some are from Simple Stories. And I think some are from Photo Play. Uh, I know that Big Smiles is from Photoplay, and uh, so is this heart piece that I'm going to use with it. Um, the My Oh My, I think, might have been from Photoplay as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to use those pieces, and then um, I am going to start fussy cutting some flowers out of the leftover piece of the uh, right-hand side of the page. So you can see I have a 6 by 12 off to the right hand side on my screen and I'm going to go ahead and use that. Now like I said everything's packed so I didn't have my black soot distress ink handy but my Wink Estella is still sitting next to, next to me and I have a black one so I just used that to put a little bit of a black border on these die cuts um, to make them pop just a little bit more. Um, a Sharpie would have worked as well but this was handy it's sitting right next to me so that's what I decided to go with. I do pop that up onto some foam tape. I'm going to pop this heart up onto some foam tape as well, just to give some added dimension. And I will remind you to go and check out everyone else who is playing along with both All About the Mouse and May I Scrap Lift You. Um, there are people every month doing All About the Mouse and May I Scrap Lift You is just going on all month long. I think there is a monthly group that does it, um, but I'm not really sure what day they post on, so I can't tell you that right off the top of my head. But uh, the entire month of May, there are a lot of people playing along. M a lot of us are scrap lifting the same person, like I mentioned before, um, but there are some people that have chosen the, their own people or their own list of people to scrap lift. So it's always interesting to see who is on the list. And it doesn't necessarily mean that anyone's better than the other. Um, sometimes we just like to give a little bit of love to other people on Instagram. Um, sometimes it's a particular layout that we're really interested in uh, trying out. Sometimes um, uh, it could be because we're doing combining it with another series. You just never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, most of the month I am playing along with Crystal, but I do have a few substitutions, uh, for varying reasons. I just have, um, some other commitments that I have to also consider. And so I did, I did swap out some. So here I am just fussy cutting these flowers and I am kind of layering them up. I want them to cross the boundary of the two of that black tape. Um, and bring those flowers over a little bit into the yellow, kind of like they're creeping over, but I don't want them to be all the way over by the title or anything like that. So I'm liking the way that this is looking, and I am going, I know it's kind of hard to see the ones that are right on top of the same exact paper, and that's okay. Um, when you look at it in person, you can tell that there are different layers there, and there are added, there are some added dimension dimensional flowers because I've put foam tape under some of them. <clears throat> so I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. I was really surprised at how quickly it came together considering I didn't have all my supplies handy, but uh, like when you saw me at the beginning trimming with my trimmer, I was using my Kaiser Craft trimmer rather than my cutter pillar. Um, I keep my Kaiser Craft trimmer because it's wonderful for gutting and it has a scoring blade on it but um, it's not my favorite trimmer to cut with I prefer my cutter pillar which sits on my desk to the left hand side all the time um, so you know you get used to whatever tools you're used to and 
that's what you tend to go with. It's kind of interesting to have to kind of think outside the box. Pretty much everything is packed except for my tool caddy, which is um, has like my scissors, my glue, and my tweezers and stuff there, and my ATG gun. So um, I just had that one lonely bin of, <laughs> of uh, Disney stuff. That's not true. I have lots of other paper here, but um, most of my other tools are packed. So... And now I have these little acrylic Mickey heads. The little tiny ones are from Scrapping Reflections. If you're not familiar with that shop, it is from, uh, it's run by Sandy Reversky, who is state goddess over here on YouTube. Um, she has some awesome products in there, awesome stencils. Um, I've used her Mickey head stencil several times for All About the Mouse. Uh, so go and check out her shop if you are interested in um, anything, basically. She has, she has, uh, a variety of things available and her stencils are really fantastic. So one of the few companies that does 12 by 12s outside of like crafters workshop. So <clears throat> I'm just trying to play around with where I want that Mickey head. And, um, I am <laughs> using my glue dots tape runner, which it's unfortunate that I didn't have my actual glue dots handy, but um, hopefully they will stay on. If not, I will have to reinforce them a little bit when everything gets unpacked and accessible when I return from my trip. So that is my final layout. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have questions or comments, as always, leave those down below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you don't mind hitting the thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, I would also love for you to subscribe to my channel and um, hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when I put up new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another video.